When you use animations in CSS, the animation starts from 0% to 100%. And once it achieves the 100%, it finishes and then your element returns to its initial state. Here in my example, I am using a CSS animation to translate an element so it first goes to the left, then it goes to the right, and you can see that when the animation finishes, my element returns to its previous state. It does not stay at where I set the value here in 100%, and it returns to the initial state. Well, you can control this using the animation fill mode. If you set this property with the keyword forwards, the element will retain the style values that is set by the last keyframe. Uh, so let's remove this value. And then let's add it back so you can see the difference. There is another value that you can use. So notice here in 0%, the element moves to the left. If you use the keyword backward, the element will get the style values that is set by the first keyframe. And finally, you can use the keyword both, and now the animation will follow the rules for both forwards and backwards.